BBC Radio 3 stage was in a great location, the Arboretum, a sanctuary of shade and starlit nights. And to help you find us, there were plenty of posters around the site showing you the way. Short is the main producer on site. He and his team of producers, studio managers and assistants are responsible for everything that goes out on the air live over the weekend and stuff that's recorded to go out over the next few weeks for the other world music programmes on Radio 3. For all the shows that are going out live over the weekend, Roger has already put together what we call a running order. In other words, which stage we're going to hook into at our allotted time, plus who's coming into the studio to chat to either Lucy Duran or Andrew McGregor, our two main presenters who are actually presenting the programmes live and talking to the Radio 3 audience. mary -Ann and I, who host the Radio 3 stage, are also part of the live shows. Roger plans with us where he wants us to be during the live broadcast so that when the mobile unit goes on air, we can talk about what we're seeing and hearing, say at the open air stage and also from other parts of the festival, and get some of the excitement and atmosphere across to the radio listening public. Yeah. Helen is the one who manages the whole of the backstage area. That is to say, she interacts with the bands and the sound guys to make sure that each artist has what they need in terms of equipment, like microphones, amps, maybe even drum kits. This is called the backline, by the way. Every group tells her, hopefully well ahead of the weekend, what they need so that she can order the backline before the festival starts and make sure it's delivered to our backstage area at the start of the weekend. She also tells the artists what to do as and when we go live on air. Helen also decides how many tents, dressing rooms we need, the drinks, water, etc., and how many toilets are on the site. This is a lot of work and she has four teams working with her to make sure it all comes together. On Three's Charlie Gillett hosted the stage for two hours, a radio show with a live audience. This was music and performers up close and personal. <laughs> Interviews on stage and acoustic sets from Devon Sprawl and Susanna Novak, a pared down version of Orchestra Baobab, only six of them, and Sa Ding Ding, no dancers, no acrobats, just her and a couple of musicians. Truly magical. It's not all work. Well, it is, but work also means sitting down, kicking off your shoes and having a good chin wag with a singer or two. The tent needs to be a place where the artists can ready themselves before they go on stage and relax after they come off. In other words, a bit of a chill out room. It's also somewhere where us presenters, that's mary -Ann and myself, Lotta and Charlie, get an opportunity to get to know the artists a bit more personally it's often the first time we've actually met some of them. And whilst we do a lot of research and prepare quite a bit of our introductions and interviews beforehand, there's nothing like talking to someone, even for a few minutes, to be able to make the whole occasion more intimate and friendly. <laughs> 